I'm back. Rudrance for the Black and White Network. Make sure you hit subscribe, pound the like button, leave us a comment in the comment section. And once again, Ron DeSantis, Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, is going after Joe Biden. I have an odd feeling that he may go after Joseph Biden a little more over the next uh, couple of years. Let's just say, who knows? We don't know what's going to happen with DeSantis, but he's proven he's certainly not afraid of Joe Biden. He's not afraid of the White House. He's not afraid to snipe at him. And he calls him out right here as we find out that we are in a 40-damn-year high on inflation. Man, if you voted for this asshole because you were afraid of some mean tweets... Mmm, double F you. You're getting what you deserve right now. Um, because I'm sure he got the most votes, you know. Uh, so anyway, Joe Biden is getting sniped at by Ron DeSantis. Now, of course, DeSantis has taken on Disney, Walt Corporations, the White House. He's sniped back and forth with the White House over the Don't Say Gay Bill, which they themselves, the White House, has lied about. Snap back and forth over COVID pandemic restrictions because DeSantis said, no, I'm opening up the state. We're doing this. We're moving on. Bravo to that. And now, now the 40-year inflation high comes out. And let's talk about it because it's ugly. Of course, the White House is trying to blame Putin. Putin. And, um... Yeah, we're just not going to buy that because, look, everything was flying up prior to Russia ever invading the Ukraine. I hope everybody remembers that. I hope you remember that. I hope you're not like listening to Jen Psaki, who looks like a puppet from the Muppet Show up there, talking and bringing up Putin and Ukraine and blah, 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 blah. And thinking, oh yeah, the war is what's causing gas prices to go up. Nah, that was happening before. That was happening before that. It had been going on. Food prices had been going up before. Yeah, they're celebrating the wages increase. Except, they had, people are having to raise wages because people don't want to go back to work. Because of all the free shit that Joe Biden and the Democrats are trying to give people. I love that little thing that we don't ever talk about. Talk about Marxist 101 shit. We want shit free. And, of course, Democrats love giving away free shit. All right? You may be like, damn, you're dropping a lot of S-bombs. Well, it is what it is on this. I mean, it just is. You can't, you can't celebrate, uh, well, wages went up. Yeah, because you force businesses to pay more because nobody wants to go back to work when they're getting free money. That's a thing. Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis attacked President Joe Biden over his federal policies that he claims that have led to the nation's soaring inflation. DeSantis is not wrong, by the way, arguing that the president is content watching people suffer. Jeez. DeSantis shared the remarks in a Twitter post on Tuesday following the release of the Labor Department's data that revealed the highest level of inflation in 40 years. And here is his tweet. Quote, inflation is at a 40-year high of 8.5% due to federal policies of borrowing and printing money at unfathomable levels. What did I just say? Giving away free money and free shit. Bad energy policy, which is hurting Floridians. It's hurting Texans too, Ron DeSantis. Biden could unleash domestic energy production to provide relief. Instead, he is content watching people suffer. Yeah, because just to let you know, being right here in Texas, there's nothing but oil wells around me. I mean, we've got all kinds of domestic energy, but the Democrats don't want you to have it because they're afraid of the green progressive side of the Democratic Party. The Consumer Price Index, a measurement that covers a wide range of areas, Increased from 8.5% from 12 months ago. That's above the already high Dow Jones estimate of 8.4. In increases in the indexes for gasoline, shelter, and food were the largest contributors to the seasonally adjusted 
all items in de- uh, increase. The gasoline index rose 18.3% in March, accounting for over half of all the items' monthly increase, and the other energy component indexes also increased. The food index rose 1%, food at home index 1.5%. CNBC noted the historic high inflation report represented on Tuesday. The data reflected price rises not seen in the U.S. since the stagflation days of the late 1970s and early 80s. Jimmy Carter and that disastrous presidential reign of four years back in the day. March's headline reading, in fact was the highest since December 1981. Core inflation was the hottest since August 1982, the outlet reported. Here we go. CNBC also revealed the inflation spike continues to exceed earnings. So just because wages are going up, inflation is passing that. It can't keep up. Despite increased wages nationwide, real earnings, despite rising 5.6% from a year ago, weren't keeping pace with the cost of living. Real average hourly earnings posted as seasonally adjusted 0.8% decline for the month, according to the separate Bureau of Labor Statistics. And, of course, on Monday, the Daily Wire reported that the Biden administration is still blaming Russian President Vladimir Putin for rising inflation and other economic woes plaguing America, despite evidence, and this is key, that costs were soaring before Russia ever invaded the Ukraine. Yeah, because that has been the new new talking point. Jen Psaki, fucking sock puppet up there on on her little podium. It's the Ukraine. It's a Russian-Ukraine war. It's Putin. It's blah, 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 blah. No, this has been happening for months before that ever started. And I hope everybody remembers that when we get to the midterms and then when we get to 2024 it's not vladimir putin no matter how much biden wants to lie about that ron DeSantis is calling him out we've got plenty of energy here open it up show us sack joe biden stand up stand up against the progressive green side of the uh of uh, uh, uh of your of your Political affiliations stand up to them and give the American people what they want, what they need. Need energy production, need relief. My God, has anybody checked on the price of used cars and on any kind of housing and construction materials lately? My God, used cars are out of control. It is insane. I could not believe the prices when I was looking the other day. Chevy Impalas that are five years old are like twenty five grand. Are you shitting me? What? That's absolutely nuts. But that's part of this. That's part of all this. When you give away free money, people don't want to work, and then it's just a fallout process. And, of course, they don't want to open up, open up domestic oil production to give us gasoline relief. I like DeSantis. I like him a lot. He calls out Biden. We'll see. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.